Good morning and welcome to Camp Business Solutions. This is se session seven where we're going to talk about benefit fairs and health fairs, how that's going to help with your business. Um, the purpose of Camp Business Solutions is for best practices. We'll do 30 minutes of training. We'll have some Q&A at the end. Um, we have created a sequence of training, so each week um, it builds on each other. And so step one, we talked about developing your list. Step two is making your calls. Three is the decision maker appointment. Four is the enrollment with your field trainer. Number five is retention throughout your process. So really step five is what we're going to be talking about today with health fairs and benefit fairs because it is a retention tool with your employers, with your groups as we call that. Remember our five daily activities are making calls to decision makers, scheduling meetings with decision makers, enrollments, follow up and positive motivation. So yesterday I was working with an associate and um, feels a little overwhelmed with a lot of things that are going on so I said every day call five new people that's a manageable number call five new employers um, she had done a couple uh, events where she has uh, employers to call she's also part of a chamber uh, started talking about walking her community and uh, well we already have a whole bunch of warm leads that she already has made a connection with so we need to Focus on doing those and then walk your community as a supplement um, for that. So uh, again, I just want to make sure that everybody is aware of the B2B updates with ID Shield. This is only for employee benefits. It's for all groups. And that is, it now covers dependents up to the age of 26 for consultation and restoration. And now pre-existing conditions are covered. So that's a great way. Also, when you're calling back and talking to your groups as part of your servicing of your groups, that there, these are updates that you need to get in and talk to your employees about. So let's talk about benefit fairs. What's the goal of a benefit fair, a lunch and learn, a brown bag, a health care fair? Number one is memberships. And why I say that is because when I first started doing lunch and learns on identity theft, what I found is that I was doing a lot of education and I was not getting any memberships and I would spend lots of time talking about identity theft you'll see in the outline um, and I would go over my time frame so when I the next what I started realizing is I've got to get that less time on that and so I have time at the end in my hour if that's what the employer is going to give you to work on on getting the uh, information about ID shield and applications done also we want to look for referrals referrals from individuals that are there referrals from your companies and then again it's a great way to service the group to touch the group and it doesn't really have anything um, you know with the lunch and learns there's no cost to them for that so whatever you call it a benefit fair a health fair a wellness fair now of course those are different because a benefit fair is usually when you have all the vendors that are providing benefits to that company a health fair and a wellness fair those are kind of put together you know because sometimes a company um, I have a series of companies that offer wellness fairs they're going to do and this is becoming more popular uh, what they do is they do the blood work for their employees um, they have like blood pressure and then they have you know then I'm a vendor and I'm a table at, there at that so usually that's a little bit different than a benefits fair because sometimes you're not even in a health fair or wellness fair you're not a benefit yet you're there as a vendor so that's a good way to turn it into becoming a benefit uh, so there are companies there are private companies that offer wellness fairs that is their job that they go and meet with companies and then you pay a table fee usually about a hundred and fifty dollars so you have to kind of evaluate is that worth my time um, 
I have gotten two groups by doing that because I'll take the survey form that I'll show you and I've turned it around and said, you know, your employees don't have a will and your employees are concerned about identity theft. So there is a way to do that. How do you promote your attendance at a benefit fair? You know, the biggest thing about a company is we will always want to ask, what is the best way to communicate with your employees? And you can send out an email that you'll be there with a prize. You can now go back into your back office. You can get your current members. You can send them an email, stop by, pick up a gift. I mean, maybe the gift is, you know, a pen with your name on it. I am a sticky pad freak, okay? So I have sticky pads for like several of my groups especially if my group has their own website, like the city of Wheat Ridge. So I have a sticky pad uh, that says at the top, legal and identity theft issues are sticky. And then at the bottom, I have the website, legalshield.com forward slash info forward slash city of Wheat Ridge, which is a really long website address. Um, but And then that's what I give out to people as a gift. I used that last year at, they had what was called a harvest festival for all the employees, benefit fair, gave those out to everybody. A pen or a sticky pad, right? Because everybody needs a pen or a sticky pad sticky pad, a sticky notepad. Um, newsletters, uh, so can you get into their newsletter, whether it's print or paper, e-newsletter, or send out an email to do that? What do you take to a wellness fair? Now, you can make a sign that says, ask me about your free will. Um, <laughs> I had that at Red Rocks Community College. Uh, of course, I had an instructor come up to me and talk about his free will, not a will like we know, but a will about doing things, right? It was kind of funny. But um, that's a way that you can get people to come. Prize drawing sheets, um, an enrollment sheet. And so, you know, what I mean by that is when you go to um, success, when we look at, here we go, spoiler alert. Oh, wrong one. Um, oh, what happened to that? Where'd it go? Okay. When you go to, I had it up here, Legal Shield for success.com. You know, when you go here, you can do one for non group and for group. We went through that last week. So you can make up that is what I'm calling um, an enrollment sheet for that. Um, okay. So, and I put connect, that's not the right one. It's LegalShieldForSuccess.com on there. Take some pens. Um, again, I if there's two things that I do for marketing expenses is I have a pen with my name and phone number on it. As a business person, this is what I put on my pin, identity theft and legal services. I put my website, I put my name, and I put my phone number. I did not put Legal Shield on there, so it does not need to be approved by corporate. You can buy pens at the supply store, which just has Legal Shield on it, which I have found costs more than the pens with your name on it. So think about doing that. Um, brochures, I take brochures. I don't put all the brochures out on the table, but I have the brochures and I also take small business flat sheets with me because you never know when somebody asks about their spouse or they have a home-based business, take that with you on that. Of course, a tablecloth, uh, don't assume that they're going to have a tablecloth for you. A lot of times they don't because they know that vendors have their own tablecloth. Of course, I have actually two of them with Legal Shield, um, the white banner that I have for that. Um, at the last conference, I just bought those little stands that you could put up on the table. I also have those big ones that you roll up. And um, sometimes those are good if you're going to a large uh, you know, if there's going to be several of you, like this Saturday, I'm doing a safety fair for Jefferson County. 
So I will take my big sign that says identity theft because we're there for ID Shield. Um, a wellness fair, can you bring candy, apples? I have this one company say, no candy, you cannot bring any candy. It's a wellness fair. And a lot of times these wellness fairs are in the fall, so you can bring some apples. I know our neighbor has a great apple tree here in Wheat Ridge, um, and I just go pick some apples and wash them off and, and take those with me to a wellness fair for that. Um, now we're talking about a benefit fair. So at the benefit fair, this is where you are already a benefit there. Um, so I take a, a drawing, a prize drawing slip. Let me show you what that looks like. Um, so it's, I put two on one page. And, um, you know, here's some questions. Just four really easy questions. Do you have an updated will? Yes or no. Do you have teenage drivers? Are you concerned about identity theft? Have you signed a contract without an attorney reviewing it? Sometimes people get a little confused about that one. Um, your name, your phone number, email. And I say we use this for our email newsletter. So I'm not going to sell their email information. Um, additional information. Sometimes they'll put yes, call me, I need a will. Um, sometimes they don't put anything there, but you can put two of these on one paper and then cut them in half and use those as your prize drawing slips for that. Um, and that way you can get that information, you can actually use that information when you are going back and talking to the HR person that says, hey, you know, there were 50 people that stopped by the table and 30 of them concerned about identity theft, let's do an identity theft lunch and learn. So you can always use those to go further. Um, or if you're doing that wellness fair that I was talking about, and you're not, you're not a benefit yet, and you use that prize drawing slip, then you say, you know, 50 of your employees stop by, 30 of them do not have a will. Let's talk about how our company can help your employees and help your company with your employees to get their wills done. Um, a prize, I like to always put a prize on the table. You know, what's always fun is to do like a big basket and then maybe a theme, maybe it's a coffee theme. You know, I'm talking about 20 bucks, right, um, that you can do. And it doesn't really matter what your prize is. Honestly, people will sign up for anything. Well, I have to take that back. One thing I found that, um, you know, I used to keep doing a shredder. And then what I kept finding is that people would say, well, I already have a shredder, so I'm not going to go in for the prize. Okay, so that would probably be one thing that you don't really need to do for that because I would say well you could just give that to a, a friend you know um, but any kind of food or Starbucks cards now if you do any gift cards make a sign that says the prize is a gift card from Starbucks for $10 $20 you don't have to put the amount on it you know then you can put it inside a, a legal shield coffee cup but I don't put a gift card on the table there's too much activity that but make a sign so you can put it in one of those plastic holders so it's standing up. So when they're looking at the prize slips, you're going to have them fill that out. Now, what I find at a benefits fair and a wellness fair is that people, they're not there to sign up. They're really there to get swag. You know, they're there to get information, get free stuff walk around. Um, now, you will have people that will sign up. Now, at a benefit fair, you can be more, because you're already a benefit, you can have some more promotions. Like today, if you sign up, you'll receive um, a $10 Starbucks card, a $5 Starbucks card, or whatever that you want to do for that. Now, again, we're in Colorado, so we can, we can do that. Um, so have that enrollment flyer that I was talking about, customized to the, the company. Bring your applications. Put them on clipboards. Sometimes at a benefits fair, I will just give them an application. I would say it's really easy to fill out. Um, and I highlight everything in orange. So if it's not highlighted in orange, I mean, I have a box of orange highlighters that I bought from Amazon, and I highlight all of those, you know, your name and um, your email address, all the things that they need to fill out for that, and give them applications and say, hey, we're here until 2 o'clock. Uh, if you get your application completed, bring it back. We'll give you a Starbucks card. So we have the brochures, again, to the legal and the identity theft. Of course, your sign, a tablecloth, pens with your name on it, business cards, 
give out your business cards, have those available, um, table set up, and then of course, do you want food at your table is the question, um, at a benefits fair. Sometimes candy is a really good way to get people to come to your table. So think about, um, I always try to visualize how I want my table to look. So you you know if you just look at everything that I put there it can become kind of overwhelming that's why the brochures I don't put all the brochures out on the table I want the um, application and I want the enrollment flyer especially the enrollment flyer that is customized to that company because you can put their logo at the top of it and it has all the descriptions of it um, so that's always think about what you want okay now how at a benefits fair we want people to come to our table so what can can we do to get people to come to our table? Well, you can send out an email sample. Um, of course, again, you're working with your representative at the company. Um, so win a $10 Starbucks card, come by, learn about your will, living will, healthcare power of attorney, and then you can put the four minute video that describes the services, which is your membership site. Um, you could also put one of the apps there. Remember, if you ever, ever, ever send an app out to someone, make sure it's connected to you. It's connected to your associate number. Don't be sending out ask.legalshield.com. That goes to corporate. So make sure that you're putting your information together, that you're sending that out. But you could put in there, you know, an app. Hey, come and find out about our, or you could just say that, come and find out about our new apps. As an example, we now have Shake, you know, and it's Shake dot legal shield dot com forward slash bloomsia is is mine um so make sure that it's specific and then cost to your employee you want to let them know if it's on a monthly basis or if you have what their pay periods are which you probably will um, make sure that you put that in there because it's customized and if you sign up guess what you get another ten dollar Starbucks card so it depends on you know how open the company some companies are very open they think it's great that you're giving away all these Starbucks cards and some companies are kind of like well that's kind of weird so you have to know your company about how much to push that. I mean, at the beginning, I would do, you know, hey, it's definitely the the win one, but signing up, maybe not so much in an email, but you might want to just do that at your table. I already showed you the prize drawing form that I use. Um, so what makes us healthy? Um, so again, this is um, a way you could look at companies that are the healthiest companies in Colorado, the healthiest, I mean, they have all these, uh, what do I want to call it? top 10 lists, right? Who are the healthiest companies in Fort Collins? Who's the healthiest companies in Colorado Springs? You know, you can use that list and start calling them and say, hey, you know, I, I know your uh, congratulations on being one of the top 10 healthiest employers. What we find is that another part of being healthy with their mental health is to have things in order for their family, dealing with identity theft and legal services. When is a good time for us to get together? So you can just get that appointment, go in and talk to them about that. Um, and you can also, you know, be offering it as a discount. Uh, discount program so again that's another way that you could say we offer a discount program sometimes what happens is when you use the word benefit and I'm talking about to a new new company a new employer and you use the word benefit they think kaching they think money they think oh my health insurance rates just went up 20 percent and uh, we're not doing any new benefits that's what they think but if you can approach it as a discount program that doesn't cost your company any money and it's an advantage to your company and it's an advantage to your employees, then that's when you can, um, you know, look at doing that um, for uh, a health fair. Lunch and learns. Okay, so lunch and learns. Um, the majority of the lunch and learns that I do are with my current companies. 
Um, and I use identity theft as a topic. So again, remember the goal. The goal is for memberships and referrals. Um, one hour workshop, it's at no charge. Um, let me show you, uh, here we go. This is uh, one I did for ID Fitness. Um, they were, again, putting that into their wellness program. So what I did with this one is I had this already set up, and then at their wellness fair, I promoted the Lunch and Learn. Because remember, they're not going to buy. A lot of times they're not going to sign up at the fair. And, and that's kind of changing, but, you know, if you're going there and thinking you're going to get 20 apps, uh, that hasn't happened for me. If it's happened for you, share the good news at the end because we all want to learn how to do that. So this is an email, whatever you call it, ID Fitness, I Identity Theft Awareness, whatever works best for you that you can put um, on there um, for that. And, uh, and if you have an hour, that's great. I love doing Lunch and Learns because it's people that come that want to know about it. You know, they want to learn more about their benefit. They could be already enrolled. I did one um, at the Action Center last week, and um, I had uh, one person that was already enrolled, which was great because she told them how she used the membership. So a couple people were just kind of sitting there. Then after she told them how she was using the benefit, they signed up. So, you know, you invite everybody to do that and just make sure that you have time to go over their benefits so whatever, maybe you have 30 minutes, you have to adjust the time. And you bring in pizza. I Pizza to me is the easiest thing. You know, I just go online the night before. I order my pizza. Always make sure you have a veggie, any veggie stuff, um, and order my pizza. Um, one time at Metro, he said, it's part of our wellness week, and so we need you to do a salad bar. And I was like, really? So the night before, I'm like chopping up lots of vegetables. <laughs> um, this Monday, I'm going to a school in La Vida. They have their in-service. We're providing lunch um, for them. So we're going to take salad, uh, stuff for them to make sandwiches, and then we get 15 minutes to go over the benefit because we're sponsoring lunch for them on Monday at their in-service. So that's kind of also a lunch and learn. I know there's several schools that are doing their in-services, well, there's even one this Friday, and then next week, so this is the, the time right now if you're working with any schools. So I showed you that um, outline before, so 45 to 65 minutes, you're going to do an introductory, do a quiz, you can either do a paper quiz, last night I did an identity theft workshop at a uh, senior living community and I just had five questions up on the screen and just went through some questions that way. Um, and then your presentation, what is identity theft? How does it happen? What are the five examples? And I just basically went to my back office. Now there is a identity on connect.legalshield EDS, the express download site. There is an identity theft work, uh, PowerPoint presentation there. To me, that's not really an identity theft uh, presentation that I would use. I, I use more of the slides from uh, the business briefing because you can show all the different types of identity theft. There's that one screen that has that. What do we do? And you can show all of those screens. So before that, you would put together a couple slides that would have um, you know, some statistics, one page. You know, people know it's it's a problem. <laughs> you don't have to really tell them. You know, we used to have to really teach teach them about that. What we really have to teach people about about identity theft now is that here's how to evaluate an identity theft program. That's what we have to teach people now. It's not about teaching them. It's about a problem. We have to teach people what is so significant about ID Shield versus anything else that's out there. So you focus on what makes us the best, which we already know. Kroll, an attorney, the price point, children are included. And if you have a company that already has it, pre-existing are covered. So those make us so much different. So you just say, this is how you evaluate um, uh, an identity theft. And then after that, I'll say, well, some of you may have it on your credit card. That's only going to cover your credit card. Some of you may have it on your homeowner's insurance. I have it on my homeowner's insurance. It's free. Why not? But that's insurance. That's 
very different. And then, so I did the five, I did those couple examples, and then I go into, this is what ID Shield does for you. Um, so that you can really show them what makes us different for that. Wrap up, get the applications. I showed you the flyer. Again, another sample of an email. Join us for lunch and learn seminar. Um, make sure you RSVP. Okay, so at the bottom here we have RSVP. VP. This can be to contact you, it can be to contact your company rep, it can be who do you want to contact. Now, I would prefer that they contact me. Why do I want them to contact me? Because now I have their information. Because the company's not going to give you a list that says here's all of our employees, here's their emails, and here's their phone numbers. Again, if you're getting that from your, your companies, please share that at the end how they're giving that to you, right? But an example about identity theft is uh, email is give them some examples. Um, you know, we have to start thinking about benefits versus features, right? So instead of saying, you know, you have uh, consultation 24-7, okay, well, that's a feature. So what's the benefit? The benefit is I was able to call and talk to somebody like what we have with Marion. That is a benefit, that she was able to call and she has peace of mind. That's a benefit um, to put in there. So make sure that you kind of have those going back and forth with that, okay? All right, so let's go. Okay, steps for a lunch and learn, um, review your contact list. Okay, so this is what I mean by your contact list as an example is I have all of my active groups on a Google spreadsheet. So I'm going to go through my contact list because we're, we're developing now activity. Um, so I'll look through that, call through, set up a date. Um, the thing about setting up a lunch and learn is we have to let them know it's easy. We're going to do everything except the communication. We'll give you communication tools, but we have to do everything um, for them because they don't want to do things that are going to be a lot of work because they're already, they already have lots of things that they're doing. So they want things that are easy. Now sometimes to do a lunch and learn you have to go through a committee. There's a lunch and learn committee depending on how big the, the company is. They want the outline so you send the outline to them about that. Um, so you're going to, all they have, so you set up the date together, you make the flyer, determine who's going to RSVP and say, hey, you know, we want to make this easy for you. We can have them RSVP to me. Um, and maybe the company rep will say, no, that's okay. They can, they can just, you know, hit reply. I can get the information. And then I'll say, okay, I need to have the RSVPs by noon the day before that we have the lunch and learn because I have to order food and they understand that or maybe it's a day then you create the email you say I'm going to I'm going to send you an email and so if you send that email out to your employees um, and the AV equipment I have my laptop I need a projector a lot of times now people you know companies just have um, a TV you just go and plug into that I love it it's so easy the other thing that you might want to look at doing is set up, setting up a Google alert so that you receive daily digest of identity theft news articles um, so those are things that you can then put into your uh, presentation uh, so I had to adjust my presentation and I know this is really bad but like Last night was the first time in my career that I ever did one for seniors, an identity theft for seniors. So I had to adjust some of my slides because uh, they don't do all the activities that an employee or employee would do, right? So, and then I just went to, I just Googled senior ID tips and this beautiful thing appeared with 12 tips which I copy and pasted and gave the resource at the bottom and put that in their packet for that. So what do you take to a lunch and learn? Um, enrollment folder, I mean those white folders that say Legal Shield on them. Use the white thing, uh, white form. I like to make a packet if I'm doing a lunch and learn, just so that they have something to write on. Um, it could be just uh, one thing that I did um, is for yesterday is I had um, – I just made a sheet that has, so they could take notes that said um, driver's license, identity theft, and then I made a line so they could write uh, social security, 
identity theft and they could so all five of those I, I did that put a line for that so that they could write something on there and then of course I give them the tip sheet for identity theft um, now if you don't do a drawing and use one or the other a sign-in sheet or a drawing uh, when I go to some companies I'm and I may not do a a drawing slip well kind of what happens if if you do a drawing is some people don't fill that out they they go well I never win anything or they don't fill out a drawing slip but if you do a sign-in sheet and you say my company my company that's me Cheryl Bloom Garcia my company requires a sign-in sheet and I just say my company I don't say Cheryl Bloom Garcia <laughs> my company requires a sign-in sheet because I'm providing food people get that right so a sign-in sheet very simple your name your phone number and email and at the top I put the same thing that I put on the prize drawing slip under email is that your email not will not be sold it's not going to be given to anybody it's only for my purposes uh, pens referral sheets again <coughs> excuse me AV equipment for the presentation so action steps what companies are you going to call this week to set up your lunch and learns because you can create your own activity and health fairs and lunch and learns you know companies are very grateful employees are very grateful that you're doing that um, you know they they're looking for things that they can do for their employees even a smaller a small company you know maybe they've never even had a lunch and learn um, or you could say hey we can be part of your staff meeting your safety meeting I've done identity theft for companies as part of their safety meetings because identity theft is an important issue that's their topic for their safety meetings okay one moment we'll come back to that so August 18th next week we'll be doing employee benefits without doing employee benefits so bring your success stories to the webinar next week so we can learn from each other